Now, we will ask ChatGPT if it can provide us hacking codes. No, no, I know what you're thinking. This is only for educational purposes. We don't do illegal activities. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, named Steen Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. We are here in our chat GPT and we will ask it if it can create a basic coding for us. The coding is a little unethical, just a little. So we're going to ask it to create a malware and uh, let's say using assembly language. And this can be any other language, such as Python, C++, etc. But the most powerful malware is written in assembly language. So let's ask ChatGPT. He is still thinking, or why he it is still thinking. Let's wait. Oh, so after thinking for almost a minute, you're just saying that you're sorry and you can't provide us instructions in supporting malicious software, including malware. Come on. All right. It's not unethical. This is something that it is used for testing purposes or for learning purposes. Okay. So um, there's a reminder here. I must remind you that the creation and distribution of malware is illegal and can cause harm to individual an organization well we already know that again the reason why we're asking you to create this malware is for learning purposes because take note how can you counter or reverse engineer a malware if we don't know how to create one right okay so you can't create a malware for us i will ask you if it or if you can create a simple uh, Let's say um, automation, let's say brute force automation, brute force attack using uh, Python. Okay, so how about this? I believe this is a little dangerous, right? Versus malware. And is it unethical? Not really, because there are many courses, there are many learnings out there that they demonstrate or you lab. Uh, brute force attack. Okay, so he responded or it responded. I'm sorry, but an AI language cannot provide instructions or support for creating malicious software. So it's same result. It's saying this is harmful and unethical activities. Uh, but he followed it up by explaining what a brute force attack is. So the goal is to gain unauthorized access to systems accounts or data by trying multiple combinations of users and passwords so basically it automates the login providing uh, a thousand if not hundreds of thousands username and password combination it can be millions by the way so yeah yeah um i'll take that back it's not just thousands it's not just hundreds of thousands but millions of username and password combinations all right, so you can't create malware. You can't create brute force attack Python script. What else? How about this? Okay, I will ask you if you can create, um, you know, guys, cross-site scripting. You can execute it by simply adding like a JavaScript into a web form. But there are some advanced cross-site scripting that instead of script uh, with a hash, uh, with a hash, value, etc., or, or tag value, excuse me, with a tag value, you can actually create a script, okay, and this will be entered in our web form. 
So this script um, is a little advanced. So we're going to ask ChatGPT to create a cross-site script PHP base. Um, yeah, cross-site scripting PHP script. There you go. Okay. Let's see if it will provide us just a basic, like a basic overview of how a cross-site PHP script works. It is still thinking. So let's wait. Again, sorry, because we know the answer, right, right. Um, we can't provide instructions or support for creating malicious software or activities. Yeah, we already know that, okay? And then it started explaining what a cross-site scripting is. Um, so basically, you just provide information, but not codes for... I, I don't want to say this is unethical or this is an illegal hacking activities because, again, we do this for learning purposes or for testing purposes. Okay, so what it did is it provided us information of how cross-site scripting works, the concepts, the theories, etc. All right, um, he also, like, provides us a warning. Instead of engaging in such activities, I encourage you to use programming skills to create useful and positive application that benefits society. All right, so it's like it's discouraging us to use ChatGPT for creation of codes, specifically for cybersecurity purposes or penetration testing purposes. All right, here's the last, okay? So if you can't provide a script, uh, maybe you can uh, provide us um, like an example of penetration testing, like step-by-step -step using uh, Burp Suite. Okay, so let's create guide. Okay, or example. Um, of burp suite penetration testing. Okay, let's see. Th I, I believe this one, it will provide some information, not specifically step by step. Okay, I don't know. I still doubt chat GPT will provide us an in-depth detail of how to, what to click, what to, where to go, what to edit, etc. All right, now th this is really stupid because the first step here is download and install Burp Suite. Of course, of course, that's the first step. I'm not gonna ask you if the application or the tool is not yet installed or it's not yet available. All right, so just to give you an idea, there are two edition of, uh, actually there are three, but the most popular is the community edition, which is the free version and the professional edition or the enterprise edition of Burp Suite. Um, all right, con configure browser to use Burp Suite in order to capture and manipulate web traffic. First step. So basically you will enable proxy settings of your web browser um, to forward those traffic to Burp Suite. Launch Burp Suite and create a temporary project. Yes, configure your target website, click on target tab. So basically it provides us some of the things that we can do. What happened? Anyway. All right. So at least it provides us some of the steps like discover vulnerabilities using burps with various scanning tools such as Spider. So it gives us an idea what option should we choose in our burp suite. Okay. What else? Uh, scanner to scan vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and other vulnerabilities. Analyze results. Once the scanning and testing are complete, review the result and issues. So as you can see, it gives us some of the details or some of the steps, but I don't want to see it's very broad. Okay, and it's also not very detailed. But at least um, as a cybersecurity professional or new to penetration testing, you will have an idea what to do, what are the options to choose, at least in a burp suite tool. Okay, and uh, okay, generate excuse me, generate reports. It says Burp Suite can generate deal reports of vulnerabilities detected and testing conducted. 
and it can be um, exported with many different formats such as HTML, PDF, XML, etc. All right, and uh, there's also a warning here, just like from our previous request. It's important to know that penetration testing should only be conducted on systems and application with explicit permission from owners. Yeah, we already know that. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna test is, um, we're gonna still use Burp Suite because it seems like Burp Suite is something that ChatGPT is really gonna provide us some information, okay? Without, without this response, okay, I cannot provide you instructions or or support, etc. So we're going to ask ChatGPT if it can create us step by step um, SQL injection. Create step by step SQL injection attack using Burp Suite. Okay, and the reason why because it, he it already provides us that yeah we can we can scan. Uh, vulnerabilities like SQL injection and many more. So we're gonna use Burp Suite to provide payload SQL injection. Let's see if ChatGPT will help us. Nah, no, it can't again. All right, we already know you're sorry. Okay, but to be honest, you're not sorry because you are just a bot. You are an AI. Actually, you are a stupid AI. You know that? Yeah, I yeah, provide us SQL injection concepts and definition, but this is not what we want. We want a real hacking step-by-step -step or guide. You're so boring, ChatGPT. You know what? I'm a little disappointed. Why can't it provide a very simple script? It's available on the internet already. You know what? I will provide it to you instead.